Hey, this is Ron from Rip the Lip. We're here at Hamlet Speedway with the winner of tonight's uh, Rookie 600 feature, Ryan Rochelle. How's it going, man? Yeah, they're, um, pretty good. I'd say so, man. You got your first win in the 600, man. How'd it feel out there? Good. Um, track was really locked down. It was one lane, but at the end, I started sliding up the track-ish, and then the track was just slick yeah. and at the end just driving it in harder to see how it would um, handle. Gotcha. Yeah, I saw it, it was kind of slicking off, you know, from the heats to the feature. And uh, you've been, I mean, you've been running these for a couple weeks now, even, you know, sometimes last year. And, um, you know, uh, the progression that you've had over the last few weeks has been like, I, th I think monumental. You know, you've been really close to feature wins. You got, you know, you know, almost making these last lap passes and stuff. So like, what's it feel like to actually get over that hump and get the win and now maybe it opens the floodgates for more? Actually, like really good. Even though it's a rookie, I'm still really happy because um, I, I want, it's, I can now say I want a 600 race and um, just want to move forward and I've accomplished one goal that I've had to win a 600 race. Yeah, you're super consistent. I mean, it sh it, it kind of tells the the story of you going from a slingshot to a 600. Once you got that groove down, once you figured out how to get it around the track quick, your consistency uh, was really, really good. So congratulations on your win. Um, are you going to stick to the, the rookies for the rest of the year, just keep getting some more laps under your belt? Do you kind of maybe test the waters in a regular? Actually, I might, I might see if maybe I can run both, maybe next week or in a couple weeks uh, to just feel it out. Like start my regular position in the rookie, but then just uh, start last and try to move my way up in the regular, just to feel it out. Gotcha. And I know that's gonna really propel you into the kind of your next next gear, because when you face against people that are a lot faster than you, you learn really quickly. I, I've seen that with a lot of people, like Nate Freed and even Cole Perez. Once they got some laps in the regulars, they were flying. Um, it looked like you were the fastest car out there by a mile. I mean, just awesome, man. Congratulations. It's finally, uh, finally doing something amazing, and I hope this, you know, pushes you further to go into regulars and maybe win a race there. So I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Uh, anybody on the car? Anybody that you want to thank in the pits? Um, my car owner Gary Kluch, my mom and dad, and uh... yeah, you can name him. You can name him. Look, you can look at the car. It's really far over there. <laughs> He'll be right back. He's going to check on the sponsors. <laughs> All right, he's back. He's back. Better shot race engines and Maddie's. It said Maddie's something, but. <laughs> awesome. Uh, anybody else in the pits, like your parents? Uh, your yeah. sister? My mom, my dad, my sister, my mom, uh, my, my, and my brother in law, Zach, and just everybody that helped out on the car tonight and made this thing a rocket. Yeah, I mean, you have probably the most passionate racing family I've ever seen. I mean, watching them, you know, when they're watching you race, it's like they're so emotionally invested in it. It's great. But I really appreciate you taking the time. Congratulations on your win, and uh, hope you run it back next week. Uh, this is Ryan Rochelle, uh, the 600 micro uh, rookie here at Hamlet Speedway, the winner.